I just wanted to uh, start off by saying uh, how pleased I was with today's actions. I think it is very representative of what we've been working on as we've gone through in a very deliberate process in reapportionment uh, with a good work led by Senator Gates and former President Margolis. I think the fact that we were able to present 26 town hall meetings followed, the, followed up by so many meetings here in Tallahassee, I think today's floor actions show that when you're organized, you're thoughtful, you're inclusive, uh, good results come in a bipartisan way. Um, I hope everyone looked closely at that board today as it showed seven Democrats voted for the plan and only five Democrats voted against the plan. So a majority of Democrats voted for it. And so if there's ever a definition of a bipartisan bill on such a, let's just say, uh, an issue that's so often across this country, a confrontational issue, I think this was a good day for people who believe in good government and the idea of working together to solve problems. And so I think that 7 to 5 vote was an affirmation of the process that Senator Gates and I worked on for months. And more to his credit, uh, he put into action over the last few months, culminating today in our Senate and congressional plans. Uh, as you know, uh, contrary to some reports, we are not stopping the budgeting process. Uh, we are very much engaged in the budgeting process and we want to make sure that we take every piece of information as we make the adjustments in the budget to balance the budget. So we are not stopping the process as some people have erroneously reported, uh, just the opposite. We have engaged uh, mightily there. We're focusing ex extensively especially on uh, the health and human services area of the budget because that is where the bulk of the dollars have been requested by the governor and uh, led by Senator Negron, uh, he will be engaged in that process.